day two of the meeting in Cairo and the Arab foreign ministers are joined by their European counterparts. The Arab League has already recognised the Syrian National Coalition as the united voice of the opposition. Its mission now to get the European Union to follow suit. France has now recognised the new grouping as the legitimate representative of the Syrian people. But other European countries are holding back until the opposition proves that it is united. You want to see in practice that the Syrian opposition, that the coalition that has now been assembled, is as inclusive as possible of opposition groups and of all communities in Syria. And we want to see that they have support inside Syria. That is a very crucial consideration. And if they do those things, uh, well then, yes, we would then be able to recognize them as the legitimate representatives of the Syrian people. The more legitimacy the opposition gains, the more authority it has to ask foreign governments for help, and in particular, for weapons. A number of our European colleagues are also opposed to giving weapons, and clearly France also respects this embargo. The decision that was taken to create a Syrian national coalition is an excellent decision, because it will permit a unification of the diverse Syrian opposition. The ministers say they had a wide-ranging discussion on Syria behind closed doors. Few details have emerged, but both sides say the areas of agreement were larger than the areas of disagreement. We cannot agree upon everything, but there are so many things that we do have uh, mutual or we do have uh, probably the same stands and positions. As part of the fact, we can find difficulties regarding one word or two. The meeting also heard a grim assessment of the humanitarian situation on the ground. The special envoy, Lahta Brahimi, said millions of people inside Syria were in desperate need of food, shelter and medicine. And he predicted that the number of Syrian refugees would reach nearly three quarters of a million by the end of the year. And on the ground in Syria, civilians have once again fled in terror from aerial bombardment by government jets. The Air Force attacked rebel-held areas near the border with Turkey. There are reports of five airstrikes within 10 minutes. It's another reminder, as if one is necessary, of the urgent need for an end to this conflict. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, at the Arab League in Cairo.